Hi, hello, I'm Neil and welcome back. Tonight we're at Shingle Street. I'm here all night tonight. I'm doing an eight till eight. It's actually now nine o'clock, but I've been here for an hour setting up. I've now got four rods in the water and uh, high tide is about three o'clock in the morning today. Well, in the morning tonight. tonight. So it's pretty much low tide now it's just turned hopefully and i'm going to do all up the tide and all down and hopefully pack up about eight nine o'clock tomorrow morning i would say i've got four rods out tonight i've got two pulley panels on one of them's got squid and piggybacked with a bit of ragworm the other one's just got a bit of mackerel in at the moment and i did buy if i can find it here some of this i don't know if you can see well that is if it focuses in not really it's not going to focus but anyway it's a mackerel and bluey dip so I thought I saw it in the shop I thought give it a well so the mackerel I've dipped in this stuff and um, see if it makes any difference the other two rods I've got a two hook flapper with lug on one I've got a three hook flapper with the bottom hook below the weight with rag on the other one. So hopefully I've got all bases covered. See what we can get. At the moment, I've been out, I don't know, 15 minutes. I've not had any, any bites on knocks yet. It's a little bit nippy tonight. It's about four degrees and the wind's coming off the land over the top of my head. So there's a little bit of wind going but hopefully it's not going to pick up anymore and it have had drizzle since I got here on and off it's not raining right now but um, hopefully that will stay away as well but yeah see what we can get right I've got those rig shark lights back on after the last session I've gone home <clears throat> I've charged them all up as far as I know they're full the charge indication on them when you were charging them to be if they were full or not was a bit hit and miss but um, I left them on to charge for a, I think it was about four hours in total so I'm hoping that will do the whole session so uh, they should do like 160 hours but um, I don't know if that's with the rechargeable batteries or not really but yeah I've charged them up they're looking pretty good at the moment yeah so like I said I'm at Shingle Street if you've never been to Shingle Street before it's a steep beach I don't know if you'll be able to tell looking down there but I'm at the top, it's probably, I don't know, it's probably about 12, 16 feet, maybe down there. It's a sheer drop. Put my other light on, see if that makes any difference. Turn that off. Yeah, so when the tide comes in, like I say, it's low tide at the moment, when the tide comes in, this water should be pretty deep. So hoping for some big fish just got a little flash just got a little flash on that rod then just bring it around have a look That seemed to have stopped. Maybe it was just a bit of a, a knock, maybe the lead moved, but I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, at the moment, oh, turn up, I thought that was on. At the moment, all quiet. Right, I've just had the tiniest little knock, but first cast, double shot, one white in. And one tiny little dab so uh, the smallest and they are 
which one is this actually this is the two hook flapper so yeah so that's on the lug worm so yeah no blank first fish not bad I'll get these guys back right so I've got them back out that little dab took the hook all the way down and with my forceps I snapped it trying to get it out but I did manage to get the other half out that was still in him and he's got back safely I brought the other rod in with a flea hook flapper with a ragworm on it and the ragworm hadn't been touched and it's probably been out there probably close to 40 minutes so I'm guessing we're not going to have any crabs tonight I think the sea is a bit too rough for the crabs it's well that's what it looks like at the moment so uh, if the rag can stay out for half an hour or so or more and not be touched I'm guessing there isn't any so uh, yeah first two fish let's hope for some more right, I just had the tiniest little knock again and again the lovely tiny little dab and this time it's hooked and then you can see there just straight through the top nice and easy so I can get this little fella well out get him back had a little knock on one of the big rods I think that's the one with the mackerel on it I've had two tiny stop for the moment there might be a little white in stuck on the end of it maybe but I'll, keep, I'll bring that one in in a minute I'm gonna get this guy back but the sea has suddenly just gone berserk and I might have to move all my gear back up 20 feet there's still people down there and I'm level with them so uh, but yeah in the last sort of half an hour the waves have, have come probably halfway up that bank when they're pushing so yeah I think I'm going to move up now just to be just to be on the safe side really because I know here it can turn quite nasty quite quick so uh, yeah get him back start sh shunting all my stuff back up the beach and then uh, yeah just to be safe get this guy back I just moved all my gear up and while I was doing that I was getting a little knock on the flapper again and uh, yeah came in so a nicer whiting this time another little dab and it looks like the dab's taken a hook all the way down so it's the whiting but yeah it's a bit better than the last one so yeah nice get these unlooked to get them back move my other two rods up a bit yeah well, I was just about to make a cup of tea and uh but I've got another double shot of whiting and uh, I pulled out another whiting but it's raining at the moment it's just started to drizzle a bit so I've got the camera in the tent uh, so it don't get wet but yeah um, hopefully it won't rain for very long but um, it's going to be miserable otherwise but I've had what probably now eight or nine fish in about an hour so uh, they definitely come on the feed so uh, now we just need the bigger ones get these guys back right it's about 10 to 11 I'm getting knocks all over the place but the problem is and um, if I turn you around is the lights the tip lights and if I turn this light off for a minute um, yeah they're not working this one is okay the other one is really faded now and um, so yeah the green lights on them are gone and so I've been here since eight o'clock and um, yeah they're not working but if you get a bite focusing get a bite oh you can't see let me turn the light off So and turn this light back on one second uh, oh, uh, yeah so that's what focusing yeah so if i get a bite i'm still getting the red flicking but um the green has died out already was it eight nine ten eleven 
but it's only been about three hours. Now, I don't know if that's because I didn't charge them enough. I'll say the charging on those, the little UV, USB charging thing, the indication is uh, a bit hit and miss on them. And also there's nothing to actually tell you how long they take to charge. So I done them for, I think it was about three to four hours. Maybe that wasn't long enough. Uh, maybe they take a lot longer than that to charge. But the tiny little things, so I don't really know. Um, maybe I'll have to give the uh, Rig Shark company a ring and uh, just ask them basically. But yeah, but at the moment I'm basically out of tip lights. So uh, back to the old headlight and standing next to the rods. But I'm catching fish. I haven't recorded all the whiting, but I've added out another five whiting. Uh, I've had no more flat and nothing big yet, but still early days. Right, it's 20 past 11. I've put new worms on, I've chucked them out. The whiting seem to have slowed down a bit. Uh, I was bringing them in literally every 10 minutes, just, well, that finished about half an hour ago. It's slowed down. I'm getting the odd one, but it's calmed down. The fishy baits, I've had nothing at all again. So I've just brought one in and this time I'm just going to put on, if it can focus in. So I've got some squid and I've got it piggybacked with just a piece of sand eel. So um, the hook's nice protruding out there. You can see it there. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh, there we go so and some sand deal so give that a whirl I'll bring the other one in in about 10 minutes that's just got plain mackerel on at the moment oh, it's been out for about 40 minutes so I'm going to bring that in put a fresh one on and get that out but at the moment the fishy baits are doing nothing again it's all on the worms but it's all small stuff and the flatties have stopped I haven't had a dab or anything for a couple of hours now so yeah, hopefully I'll get some more flats. But yeah, get this guy out, chuck him out, bring the mackerel in, and rebate. Right, it's midnight. I had a lovely little bite. First one I've had for about an hour now. And uh, yeah, and I actually think this one's a flounder. Because if we go back on it, it's like sandpaper. So, and it's darker than the others. So uh, it's tiny, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's a flounder. So different species for tonight. I've had enough of the whiting, but to be fair, they've slowed right down. So hopefully I'll start to catch something else. Just going to get this guy back. Yeah, I'm just going to reworm this one up if I can see what I'm doing. But uh started to get cold now it's midnight and uh yeah i'm freezing i'm struggling putting worm on to my hooks my fingers are so cold uh, luckily the wind's not too bad but it's just icy tonight or well uh, i feel like it's icy maybe i've just been out here too long for tonight and it just it just feels that way but again there's been no bites really on the fishy baits I mean I had a couple of knocks earlier on but when I brought him in I don't know when I brought them in there was nothing on there was nothing on it on the uh, hook and they didn't look like they've been touched either so I don't really know what's happening with them nowadays I think that's about my fourth or fifth session where everything's been on the worm and nothing's been on the squid mackerel I say I've got sand eels for something a bit different that I don't normally use but um yeah, it's just then, just nothing's biting on it. Not even the whiting. I'm not using massive hooks. So, even the big bait, you could get, 
you could get a better whiting on them but they're not even taking them either on now oh yeah we'll put that on for that right get him done chuck him out well the wind seems to have died down a little bit it was blowing quite hard sort of half an hour ago but that sort of just dropped and eased for a bit the drizzles eventually stopped but yeah as you can see I don't know if you can actually see I don't know if you can actually see that or not but oh The, the tip light green is basically gone. The red flash then, I don't know if the camera picks it up then. I don't know if that's a proper bite or... The current is quite strong tonight, I think. I think a lot of it is just the leads bobbing about. Because I'm getting the odd flash and the odd knock, but then it stops. But when I bring the bait in, there's just nothing on it at all. But I'll keep an eye on that one. Well, I was going to bring that other rod in, but just as I went to pick it up, I just turned to look to the smaller rods, and I had a proper bite on that one, so I thought I'd leave the one we was talking about, and I brought the other one in. And on that, again, oh, that was lucky, a troop, a double shot, of another flatty, and another whiting. But the whiting's just unhooked himself, and luckily this that uh again flatty hook straight out oh i love it when it's like that no missing just in the top of the lip hook it out rather than guzzling it all the way down there well what what they got of the tummy but yeah right let's get these back in and uh i'll get that other one out and see what's on that if anything at all but yeah get these back well i bought that one in and uh, yeah, there was nothing on it. The bait, the little strap of bluey at the end had been gone. Um, so maybe little fish nibbling, but the rest of the mackerel hadn't been touched at all. So uh, yeah, I brought it in, rebaited it off, chucked it back out. And uh, yeah, it's half past 12 now. So what have we got? Half 12, half one, half two, three. We got about two and a half hours till high tide and yeah it's been quite good really but nothing big but certainly catching fish right it's one o'clock in the morning it's an uh, hour and a half till high tide and um have i got a bite on the yellow one can't quite see it looked like there was a couple of knocks on that but as you'll see the water is um, pretty much up to the top of the first bank now yes yeah, so I just brought that other one in that we were looking at oh, this silly tent Oh, it's so windy so my dad's got my beach shelter he borrowed it last week and I forgot to go and get it so I've, I've got the boys little course tent at the moment but yeah um, I came I, I brought it in and uh, yeah another double shot one white in and one dab which is what we really love but I'll get these unhooked and get them back well, it's been about another 10 minutes and I've got another double shot of a dab and whiting. So uh, they're coming in in pairs. So uh, yeah, I'll get these unhooked and back, back in. It looks like someone else has turned up further down the beach, which is quite nice. At least I'm not here on my Todd, on my own, doing my own thing, which is always nice. With a beach like this that's so far from anywhere, it's a very der derelict part of the world. 
Shingle Street. I mean, you're miles from anywhere. And uh, to be honest, I don't really like being out on my own. Just in case something happens, you're absolutely stuffed. But yeah, it's probably about 100 yards down there. So um, <clears throat> yeah, v hope he has a bigger fish than I'm having. But I'll get these two beauties back and uh, get baited, get back out. Right, it's 20 to 3. It should be back out. I don't know if that got that, but yeah. The odd wave is coming over the bank. It should be high tide now. So, hopefully, in the next 15, 20 minutes, that will uh, start going out. Because it's getting a bit tight. But I've not had a bite or anything for uh, well over an hour now. The current has got a proper pull on the rods. I don't know if you can see the green one. But yeah. So uh, I've got to keep an, I've got to keep an eye on these waves just crashing over the top but um yeah. all of a sudden it's got the last push going on yeah. oh mate so uh I might need to do a last minute Get the rods and the tripods up to this next bank but hopefully I shall won't need to but it's looking a bit dodgy at the moment so um I'll come back to you once I've sorted of that out. Oh well it's 20 past three now hopefully the tide is now on its way out it's been an hour since high tide well almost an hour the app on the tide table has got sort of a Orford Ness and then Gordsey. Doesn't actually have Shingle Street, so it was like 227 up down there, and it was like 230 down at Gordsey. So it's literally now 325. So I'm hoping it's on its way out now. I didn't. I didn't worry about moving the rods. I had a few waves that come over and came right through, but they're very few and far between now. So uh, I'm hoping the majority of that, I'm hoping the majority of that has gone. So, and it's on its way out. But I've not had a proper bite. Well, for the full high tide about half an hour before the high tide I've not had a bite I brought in one white in but it was foul hooked I think I just caught him reeling him in but apart from that it's, it's deadly quiet at the moment the pull on the current is still very very strong there's next to no wind which is quite good the sea has got a lot rougher than when it was when I first got here so there's no breath of wind really it's freezing sodding cold though but, um, yeah in the next hour maybe as it goes out properly it will calm down at the moment it's it's really rough why are you not focusing there you go. it's really rough and I don't really understand why it suddenly got rough on the way out but there we go 
I was going to go through till sort of 8 o'clock this morning when it's going back to low tide but I'm freezing cold and this sea is just ridiculously rough the camera really doesn't pick it up on how rough it is um, so I'm going to give it an hour and if nothing changes in an hour I think I'm going to go home and I'll save my bait and everything because we're we're going to do a short session next week while the kids are at school like we did on the last video we're just going to do a few hours in the daytime so i can use this bait up then and save me buying some for then but yeah i mean yeah i'm going to give it an hour if the sea doesn't change or doesn't calm down um i'm going to pack up and go home because right now it's pretty much unfishable right back in the car Oh, that was a bit of a nightmare towards the end, packing it up, and uh, wind had picked up, the sea was getting a bit rougher, um, yeah, when I brought the rods in, the two flappers, um, one had a uh, single whiting on it, the other one had a double shot whiting on it, um, couldn't feel them, there was no indication of bite at all, the tide pull was so strong, um, you, you've you had no idea if he was getting a bite or not so that's that for tonight sorry i didn't get any bigger fish i would have loved to have had a ray or something from shingle street or something a bit different but there we go yeah thanks for watching uh, goodbye <laughs>